So when is a hybrid not a hybrid? Is it when it's a high wood? And when is a fairway wood not a fairway wood? Is it when it's a high wood? Yep, it is of course the Cleveland Highwood and it's very much the review that you've all been asking for and put me onto this club and we're going to find out what makes it so special. Right, so the first question I ask myself is what is so special about this club and what makes it so different? Well, quite simply, it is a hybrid of hybrids and fairways and uh, it is a shorter shaft, that shaft being the length of a standard hybrid with a head the size of a fairway wood. That coupled with 18 degrees aloft, it's suggesting it's a three high wood and it's certainly not a three fairway wood and it's closer to a three hybrid in terms of distance. It feels very good. Let me tell you already, it performs exceptionally well in a number of different situations. So it's very much a positive start out there on the fairways, but I've come back inside for Golf Chester. And what I want to see from this is what am I actually getting in terms of uh, data. So what I'm really interested in for this club in particular is the carry distance and spin and descent. They're probably the three things I'm looking because what I want to know is where does this possibly fit into your bag setup? It's 18 degrees, but what does it really do? in terms of performance comparable to maybe an 18 degree five wood for example time to find out i think okay so the first thing for me is what i want to see is what this thing does with just a sort of uh, an easy swing so we're not going after this we're just uh, we've got a green setup we're playing a nice par three at a dead manner which is uh, i think it's a couple of hundred yards from t to green so an easy one to start proceedings Okay, so slightly down that left-hand side. It's an okay-ish start. And interestingly enough, we're kind of like, well, we're top end of that sort of 180 creeping into perhaps 190. So the second shot, because I really do think this is a very playable club um, and, and also very versatile, I just want to add a little bit more to it and see if we can perhaps just change the shape a little as well. That's a much better strike, much higher ball flight, and a lot longer, I would say. We're still down that left-hand side, turn that one over a bit, but the carry difference changes significantly. That's 207 carry, so straight away, we've got some significant sort of versatility in this thing in terms of how far the ball can actually travel, so I love that, first of all. I'm going to finish off with uh, my last shot, which is sort of... If I'm playing from the tee and I want a bit of distance and I'm sort of going after this thing, I'm swinging the ball quite well, uh, the club quite well, how far can we get with this thing? Well, absolutely mullered that is uh, the technical term, I think. That's gone a long, long way. Yeah, that's carried very much that back end of the green and topping out as I thought, well, a little bit longer than I thought, to be quite honest with you, from what I've been seeing out on the course, so there is clearly a lot of versatility in this club in terms of how it can be played, which can not often be said about your typical three wood. So I suppose the question is, what is it that gives me the confidence to perhaps try those three different shots? And I think first of all, it's going to be mentioned quite a lot during this video. It's the control again that this shorter length shaft gives. So that combination, shorter shaft, bigger head, but it says 18 degrees, but it seems to present a lot more loft visually than, uh, than 18 degrees. Crown sits really nice at a dress and uh, it just, for me, visually, just gives me a whole lot of confidence. And like I said, from uh, how close I am to the ball perspective, length of shaft, I just feel I've got plenty of control over that club head. Really, really sort of uh, impressed with how this thing has performed inside. And I don't know whether you're catching the sound or not, that's a really high ball again. I mean, really decent strike that. It's, it's performing, it's performed incredibly well. I don't know whether you're catching the sound, sorry, is what I was saying. It's, um, it's a good balance. It's a good balance between this thing. Feels like it's firing on out there. You've got plenty of responsiveness into the hands. It is, again, 
ticking all the boxes inside here at Four Golf. There's not a lot more I can tell you, to be quite honest with you. We've seen the kind of carry distances. I think it's a case of going back out to the course. Now, one thing you've got to get right is no matter how good the product is in terms of performance, for me, first of all, you've got to get people in. You've got to get people trying it. So shelf appeal and how this thing looks for me is really, really important, especially for Cleveland, because Cleveland, I always think are slightly up against it. They've got to get that club in people's hands. And when they do, from what I see and what I read from comments, most of you are really, really impressed with it. It's also got to be right in terms of price point. So this product is 209 in terms of the UK. That's the kind of price point, 200 pound. That's what I'm seeing it for. In terms of how it looks, I think it looks really, really good. I think they've done an exceptional job. The sort of, uh, again, that muted matte crown looks absolutely superb. But then I think from the underneath perspective, again, where it sits, what you see on the shelf, really good coloring, not too over the top, nice and subtle. And again, them rails are really important. You can see slightly raised rails on the bottom there, which we'll talk about next. So if you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. I am very much the average golfer. If you're a long time viewer of the channel, when then, uh, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, back to me inside just for a second or two. Um, just wanted to show you this dry ball data off for a number of shots. And like I said, trying a variety of different shot types. But what you'll see is it's uh, that as we've shown in those first uh, three strikes I hit inside, very much can control the difference from sort of that top end of 180 but then the kind of uh, one that you go after is, uh, I think it's 212 or something, but again, the spin drops off considerably when you try and hit that knuckle ball. So um, yeah, interesting, good peak height, good descent angle. You can see the launch angle. It's basically reiterating the points that we found in here and it seems like on the course as well. Yeah, back out on the course for evaluation time. And uh, I think this is where you truly learn how a club performs. And I've got to say like it, it does everything so, so well. Maybe the surprise for me, and the thing you need to be careful of, is just to make sure that what you're expecting in terms of distance, so when you see a three high wood, don't be confused, like I said, is it being a fairway wood in terms of distance, because it's nothing like that. Clearly that shorter shaft plays a big part in that, but for me, that was the key um, takeaway point in terms of what I found in terms of distance. Yeah, in dry ball data, but more importantly in reality, out here on the golf course. But like I said, if you were a club that um, everyone, not everyone, a lot of golfers struggle with hitting a ball from a lie on the fairway with a three wood. This makes it a damn sight easier. Also, if you're struggling off the tee, this would be a nice go-to club to help you out to get a bit of confidence back. It, again, does it really well. It's really just reiterates the points we continually make on this channel about that shorter shaft, really. I think that's the big, again, takeaway point. It's just having great control and... Um, the thing zips off it. At times it almost feels illegal the way it's trampolining out there. It's fast ball speeds. It's so, so good. As you can tell, really, really, uh, maybe even almost a tad surprised just how good it is. And I'll tell you how good it is. It's gonna go straight in my bag. And the reason it's gonna do that, it's gonna fill a void that I've been trying to fill for a long, long time. And that's a club that I really like at the sort of 210 yardage. Um, always have struggled with a lot of different hybrids um, but for me this kind of thing fits the bill goes in at 210 and oddly enough it's shorter than my 18 degree 5 wood so like I said loft is only one small part of the equation there's lots of things to consider we've gone on enough you've seen it from inside in terms of dry ball data you've seen it performing outside here thank you for giving me the heads up in terms of all the people who told me that I should have a look at this thing uh, I really do owe you one because I love it Anyway, thanks for watching. Give me your comments down below. Get me your feedback and uh, I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. This has been the Average Golfer from Hollywell Golf Club. Bye for now.